Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Iceman and Bob, Tech and Gaming. This video should help many of you make a decision, especially as it relates to the 2024 Samsung S95D and whether you should get that TV or not. Now, in this video, what you're going to see is an example of what it would be like if you had a bright room with windows and light shining on your television screen versus having a controlled light environment. Now, many of you are not fortunate enough to have this type of scenario, or maybe you do have a theater room and you have an environment that is light controlled, but perhaps this is a second or a third or fourth or whatever another TV that you have in your home or at your business that you don't have the ability to control the light. And so the sun will actually shine on the screen. I want to show you all, as you can see, what it would look like to have a glossy screen, especially when it comes to OLED, but this will pertain to any type of television technology that has a glossy screen. Obviously, we're looking here at the Samsung S95B. It is very bright. There's not going to be an issue of the TV not being bright enough, quote unquote. It is pretty well known that it's bright enough. What you will see, though, is the difference between having a glossy screen and you will see the reflections on the screen. Many people have commented on Stop the FOMO's video and Tech with KG and TKK and all of these people, obviously you all should know by now, know me, I know them, and these are reputable sources. Now they have shown their content showing the S95D that has the anti-reflective screen. And many people say, Ugh, they're like gawking and just saying, I can't do it, I can't do it. Oh, look at how the light blurs across the screen. Now, in this video, what you're going to see though, is that sure, that could be an issue. However, even when that takes place, you can still see everything on the screen. And this is why I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison so that you all can see the differences. In their particular live streams and video content, you either had the S95D by itself or perhaps it was compared to some other television sets, but not quite in this exact scenario. So I wanted to get this video out to you all so you can see in this scenario with different types of content. You're going to see darker content. You're going to see brighter content and everything in between to give you a full assessment. And I would like to say for someone who has seen the S95D, a lot of people are sleeping on this TV. I know everyone's just gawking and just puking and all of the terms at the screen, the anti-reflective screen. Many of you call it matte. Please stop calling it matte. That's misinformation. It is not a matte screen. This is coming from someone who has matte screens. I have matte gaming monitors and all types of other technologies. It is not a matte screen it is an anti-reflective screen it's some type of different coating it does not look matte perhaps someone will do a side by side showing the s95d with an actual matte screen i don't know if that video is going to get produced i don't know if i'm going to get around to it but the point is it's not matte so please stop calling it matte it's anti-reflective i know we're lazy i know we like to make up nicknames and all types of other terminology but this is how misinformation gets spread out here in the community still with this being said a lot of people are going to be sleeping on this tv it is the brightest tv you're most likely going to see the colors look great i mean everything about the tv is awesome it's a premium build it's solid the one connect box works a lot of people are going to be sleeping on it and you're going to start to see in the community as consumers purchase it and use them in these type of environments with these light situations, it's a winner. I've said this many a times in the comment sections. I've said this on videos. If you primarily watch television during the daytime, perhaps you work at night, perhaps you're retired, perhaps you work at home, maybe you don't work at all, maybe you're a homemaker. There's a lot of scenarios that come into play here. If you watch your content during the day and you don't have a theater room, a perfect light control room, 
and you have the sun blaring and you have background images and light bulbs and all types of scenarios shining on your screen this is what you're going to see and it's highly distracting from the content that you're watching as opposed to having a completely blacked out room obviously if you're in that scenario you're not going to be looking at the s95d i don't recommend it for the most part for people like that and unless you just love samsung i mean it still looks good in a dark environment but if you're in a light environment this tv is a winner i'm telling you it's going to be better than the a95l better than the g4 better than anything out there nothing reflects the light in this way and just because you've seen some people do some hardcore scenarios that let's just go ahead and cut to the chase none of you are ever going to encounter no one watched their television walking right up to the screen shining a light on it so you're not going to see this crazy light blur and as far as the sunlight hitting the screen it reflects all of that so those background images like you can see here with the windows and lights on the ceiling or however you have your lights in your environment it's not going to be an issue and you're going to be able to enjoy your content so if you're that type of consumer this tv is going to be the number one tv i would recommend and i'm telling you when you see it in person some people have seen it in stores i, I can't speak for all store environments some stores don't set them up right displays aren't right em uh, employees don't know what they're doing especially when it comes to this type of screen they may put it in the wrong environment in terms of light to give you the full effect there's a lot of factors to go in there so just because you stopped by a best buy or just because you went into a magnolia section or just because you went into your mom and pop store does not mean that they properly set up the s95d i'm just trying to tell you it's a lot that goes into these television sets and screens so if you're in that type of environment this tv is a winner hands down if you're not if you're in a dark room i mean hey why are you looking at that? Get the S90D or even the S90C or even the S95C if you can still find them. If you want to stick with Samsung or go get an A95L, go get the G4, G3, whatever else it is that tickles your fancy, right? But if you're in these light environments, this is the example that you're going to see and that you're going to enjoy. With that being said, I hope you enjoy this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I do have a membership please check that out. All of the support for my members go to the work that I put out for you all and it will allow me to be able to get more content out to you all and do various different things. With that being said, I hope you are enjoying your time. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. With that being said, as I always say, until we stream again.